If you've been following my Instagram, then you know I do this to a lot of photos. Fading the blacks. The darkest parts of the image are very, instead of like just black, they're more like a creamy faded look in the blacks. Most editing softwares have a button like that you can just go and switch on and off that says fade, but it doesn't look very good. It's a very, very, very slight fade and you have no control over it. There's a little slider, but it just affects the amount and it's still not, you max it out and it still won't be a whole lot. So the way I like to do it is to go into curves and pretty much the only part of the curves that matter to get the effect is the lower half. Obviously, because it's a shadowy thing, it, all, it, all, the faded happen, all the fade happens in the shadows, so obviously you only need the shadow portion of the, the curves. You take your pure blacks, and you take your shadows, and you basically just match them. Wherever you want your shadows to lay, you take the blacks and you go up and you match it, basically just level them together and then there's also some sliders you can mess around with that'll help with the effect like your black point you can raise that up a little bit and then make the shot it basically it helps with the fade it lifts up the darkest points as well so it gives you that little bit more control over where you want the fade to be I just thought I'd get on here and talk about it because this is what I've been doing recently and if you guys enjoy this then I have a video right here on how to use masks the right way so I'll see you in it